Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy Neo XO coming back at y'all with another video. Today I'm gonna be talking about Black Clover chapter 314. And in this chapter, there is some interesting developments. Now, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that and leave a like on the video. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So getting into the topic of Black Clover chapter 314, make sure you guys check out the official release whenever it is officially released. I'm gonna be definitely going more into detail, so subscribe if you wanna see me go more into detail in a later video. But initially, this video right here, my first impressions and thoughts about these spoilers that I've been seeing in these leaks. So we see Mirio Leona in this chapter. So I know a lot of people are gonna be really happy about that. We have a lot of Mirio fans. I believe like she's one of the most liked characters. Like there's not a lot of people who actually hate her. So the fact that she was able to defeat the ancient demon, which is confirmed in this chapter because she has a smile on her face and she's she's just like ready for the next task pretty much. And that kind of shows us what this chapter is about in a way because it seems like they're showing us things that happened like concurrently as you know fighting z9 and asta fighting lilith and nama stuff like you know Mirioliona taking on the ancient demon because she defeated it once and then as we know once the gate opened it came back up and it was like ready for round two and you know i am very glad that mirio actually did defeat the ancient demon a second time because you know she could have been worn out after the first time or just having a gate open could have just powered up this ancient demon anymore but like i said it's like they get done with one problem and another problem is created not necessarily due to their fault or anything like that but the other problem that they're gonna have to deal with is lucifero and i'm gonna talk about lucifero in this video because he is in this chapter maybe you guys are surprised by how he appears in this chapter or maybe you're surprised about his statements in this chapter but we're gonna get to that in a second so like i said i had to touch on the gate opening i'm not just gonna skim over that the second gate is actually opening and it looks it looks like it's opening very very fast because i mean if you really look at the panel that you know is released right now like on the internet it looks like there's just a bunch of low level devils just coming out of the gate and they're just being menaces to everybody there they're just kind of like foot soldiers for lucifero if you will and this is further like solidified by some of lucifero's statements in this chapter i'll get back to that as well now something else i want to touch on before i get too deep into the new developments langris is seemingly healed up so somebody healed him up and we know that he was able to get away safely and make a recovery so he will be joining the fight again at some time most likely because he's not down for the count and I want to just give a shout out to the recovery mages because we have to realize that Langris was pretty beat up. Noel was pretty beat up. I mean, they had some people in this war who were pretty beat up and they seem to be doing just fine because they got a little bit of, you know, medical attention from some medical mages and they were able to make a, a, a recovery. So they, we're going to be seeing them. So that's really cool. I just want to shout out the medical mages because a lot of the time people tend to like count out mages who heal so like these healing mages are actually necessary in war because it's essentially bringing back characters who would be unable to continue battling it's bringing them back and they might be an integral part in the outcome of this war because this is all out war at this point i mean the gate is opening and devils are everywhere now i'm kind of curious to see if some of the devils that were actually defeated get kind of a similar boost since the gate is open. So we see how like Langris has like a health boost because he got healed by a healing mage. I'm wondering if any of these devils are gonna get like any type of boost as well because we know that we seen luck tear off one's head just easily. Like is that one just done for good or is it gonna get back up? But I'm not going to dive too deep into speculation at this time because that's just speculation at this time. Going into some more things from this chapter. Let's talk about some Lucifero. I know you guys are really excited to hear about Lucifero. I saved it for kind of the later half of the video in the, in the beginning. I just wanted to get some, some other stuff out the way that did happen. But maybe you weren't as excited about. Now, getting down to Lucifero. Now, this might disappoint some people. But Lucifero isn't fully manifested into the human world yet. But 
we still get to see Lucifero in this chapter through Morris. Now, a couple of developments have happened with Morris. It seems like Morris actually was used by Lucifero. And is anybody surprised? I really, I'm not a big Morris fan. Um, he was a pretty good villain, like based on the stuff that he did in the Diamond Kingdom. I mean, that was some villainous things, right? But based on like his involvement with the with the with the Spade Kingdom, I I didn't really like that. I mean, he could have just been a separate villain, but he ended up doing work for the Spade Kingdom, and he actually did a lot of work for the Spade Kingdom just to get betrayed and. It's just like it's just the destiny of his character apparently is to just be betrayed and it kind of annoys me a little bit because he's supposed to be like a mage scholar he's supposed to be really smart yet he was just so easily manipulated by lucifero and i know what you guys are thinking anybody can be manipulated by a devil we've seen it done in the past we've seen devils manipulate people in the past we've seen magicula literally she betrayed vonica and vonica was just basically her puppet so we shouldn't be surprised that the devil king lucifero just deceives morris and so for for the people who would say that anybody would be manipulated by that i disagree because if asta was tempted by lucifero i don't think he would be baited into switching like that and it just it's just his fate i mean he kind of got what was coming to him because even people like lotus who were initially on his side had to take a stance and be like all right what you're doing is wrong at this point so lucifero uses morris basically as an accelerant for the tree of cliffhot so lucifero is pretty much going to be able to open these gates faster and the cost of that was apparently morris's life force it seems like lucifero uses the life force of morris to just accelerate the the gate opening so extremely fast and pretty much it looks like everyone is shocked they're like oh my goodness look how fast this gate is opening and the reason for that is morris being used as a pawn as an accelerant by lucifero in this chapter lucifero does also make mention of the fact that he can kind of uh, i guess you want to say manipulate lower devils or interfere with lower devils pretty much just do things like take over their body or maybe just completely control them because we've seen him do similar things in the past when it came to like libe he tried to take over libe's body in the past and that does have me wondering is lucifero gonna have a greater connection to libe i would say so because libe has a hatred for devils and especially lucifero because we know lucifero is directly responsible for the death of lissita and we know how much love libe had for lissita so whenever lucifero does come in, into the human world i am very curious as to how libe is going to react we've seen libe actually go berserk before whenever asta was you know kind of in berserk mode we've seen that anger come out in the past we've seen libe get angry a bunch of times so whenever he's finally in the presence of the person who he kind of wants to get revenge on then we're gonna see how he actually acts you know he he doesn't have to listen to the commands of asta necessarily because if you guys remember the contract between libe and asta was that of equal companionship so they're basically none of them is lesser than the other one we see like in morris's relationship with lucifero obviously lucifero is just like the main one in that kind of relationship right there like his his relationship with his devil is completely different from the relationship with asta and libe you know everyone just has a different relationship even going back to knock knock's relationship with his devils are different now the last thing i want to speak on lucifero is about the fact that he appears to be attacking like it, it, he's basically attacking however in my opinion it doesn't look like this is his true form kind of like how magicula wasn't fully manifested so that wasn't magicula at 100 percent this looks like lucifero but it looks like he's using the lower level devils to attack but they're attacking based on lucifero if that makes sense so he's attacking via his devils his lower level devils and not really his true form so lucifero is attacking 
but not through his true form. So I don't really think this is gonna be 100% Lucifero because it does look like the will of Lucifero is manifesting after the second gate is open because we see horns and we see kind of devil markings, but we don't see Lucifero's actual body as shown in the silhouette of Lucifero. Now the silhouettes can be a little bit different. Libes was different. And we, we, we know that Zaggers was a little bit different too. So the silhouette doesn't necessarily have to be one for one with the devil, but that's just something I'm, I'm just speculating right now. I don't think this is Lucifero's true form, but that's pretty much everything that goes on in this chapter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. As always, it's been your boy Neo XO and I'm out.